Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas with Style Photography and in this video I want to talk about the all new Enhanced Details feature that has just been released in the latest version of Lightroom. So if you've been following me for a while you probably know that I've done a lot of work on different uh, raw converters and Fuji X-Trans files and a lot of that stems from some of the issues with Lightroom and how it handles uh, Fuji RAW files. Specifically, you get you know, the issues with um, fine detail smearing, the so-called worm artifacts that everybody talks about. And some people uh, find this uh, more of an issue than others. Um, and it's driven people to search for different solutions such as switching to Capture One or using something like X-Transformer. So, what Adobe has done is they've introduced a new feature in Lightroom called Enhanced Details. And what Enhanced Details does is it uses AI and machine learning to basically do a better demosaicing on the raw file. Now, with a normal raw file, this results in kind of cleaning up some artifacting and the, the effects you get will vary from file to file. When it comes to Xtrans, however, it's quite different. What it does is it resolves all the issues that people previously had with Lightroom. Uh, there's no more smearing of fine detail. There's no more edge artifacts and the worm artifacts are pretty much gone. So it actually works something like X-Transformer. So what you do is you basically run enhanced details on your image. It will process it and create a new DNG file. It basically bakes the demosaicing into the file. So again, it's similar to how X-Transformer works. So if you're familiar with X-Transformer, it kind of does the same thing, except it's baked into the application. You don't have to launch a separate application to do this. Um, it's processor intensive and it uses a GPU, so you will need to have a fairly modern GPU to use it. Um, I'm using a very old computer and uh, on my Mac Pro, for example, which you see behind me here, it, it doesn't actually work. Um, my GPU is too old for it. However, on my laptop it works okay, but again, it's using a very old GPU. It's, I think it's the Nvidia 650M. I have one of the first generation Apple uh, Retina MacBook Pros which is getting really old at this point, so it's not it's not great. But other people have reported it only takes about 10 seconds or so. Um, I can report, however, that it does work. Um, I've done a lot of testing on this. Like, um, Adobe were kind enough to give me access to it early, so uh, I did some examining of files. And for the most part, for X-Trans files, I can't see anything wrong with it. It does a perfect job. It's actually better than um, X-Transformer. Uh, it gives you extremely clean images. There's no artifacting in it and detail now looks like it's supposed to look like it. it doesn't look like it's been painted or heavily processed which you would get in certain circumstances with some files some raw files in lightroom now some people n never really experience this issue um i think if you're shooting mostly portraits you probably or people you probably never really would have come across as much of a problem with it um i find that on kind of man-made textures so if you're kind of shooting architectural detail concrete and things like that always had a problem um so if you look at the file i'm putting up here at the moment uh this was it in the original RAF conversion and here it is with enhanced details. Now you might not be able to see that too well with the, on the video so I've zoomed right in but uh, if you go to my website and um, the link will be in the description below I have one-to-one uh, -one crops of everything so you can see it. So yeah so uh, uh, enhanced details seems to work fine and um, it's you no longer need X-Transformer unless you have an older computer that can't handle it and um, I think it just does a better job than X-Transformer. Um, I could show you lots of before and after shots and lots of comparisons, but on a video there's really no point because a lot of people view these on your phones um, or even on the TV, unless they zoom right in and even at that you're not really going to see it. So as I said, I have some one-to-one -one crops that you can see, but more importantly, if you are a Fuji shooter and you have uh, the current version of Lightroom, then try it yourself and you, you could, will be the best judge yourself as to if this is good enough for you, uh, if this works for you. Or more importantly, if it's um, too much trouble to use it. Um, and if so, you can always go one of the other solutions, such as Capture One, etc. Okay, I hope you found this interesting. And do check out the blog post I have on it. I have more detail on about it there. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. See you in the next video. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you next time.